Yeah. Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. What's up studio channel? We have a pretty fun video today that uh, is kind of addressing two of the main questions every single one of us gets asked almost every day. And that is, why don't you do more gaming content? And can I come visit the studio? So in terms of gaming videos, plenty of us play games. That's not really the issue. It's just a lot of us like doing it to relax on our downtime and just in terms of everything in the studio, we're way more product focused. And in terms of coming to visit the studio, if you don't work here, unfortunately, that answer always has and always will be no. But where there's a will, yeah. there's a way. And because of a team called Based AF, we actually have a video to show to you that includes Marquez Gaming and the opportunity for you to visit the studio. Sort of, we'll, we'll explain that part later. So what you're about to see is the MKBHD studio inside of Fortnite, and all of our members, including Marquez, seeing it for the first time. I've never actually played a full Fortnite game. Oh, this is Fortnite, right? <laughs> Wait, how? Holy crap. No, Fortnite. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Yo. My guess is that somehow this map is our office. Typically, you know, in the... No way, it actually is. What rat made our office? This is what I wanted to do in Minecraft. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm a tiny person running around our studio. Oh my God. That's actually a little too much detail. <laughs> okay. I need to look around. And the carpet just is a little too accurate. Like this is concerningly accurate. Yeah, for someone who's never been in the office, this is like scarily accurate. Are we sure we've been leaving our doors locked? Oh my God, what? This is, this is the studio. Dude. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, not bad. <laughs> okay, I get, I'll, ah, uh, the shoes. Oh, that's my old desk. Oh my God, they have an artifox? You're kidding me. I feel like someone knows the vibe of our studio just as well as we do. That's crazy. This is so good. Oh my God. Ooh, wait, that's kind of sick. All right, we've got red mouse pad, check. Two five ones, check. Yamaha HS8s, check. Dual monitors, they're IMAX, but I'm okay with that. And, a surprisingly accurate sound device. Got my Apollo twin up there. Very cool. And the, oh, yeah, the keyboard. They've got even uh, some red keys, some black keys. They even have the embargo box. I feel like I'm crawling around on the floor of our office. It's so tiny. Oh my God, Gladys. And she's a little dead. Very realistic. Oh, I'm on Andrew's desk. I'm actually behind. God, that's too accurate. The fact that I'm able to go behind Andrew's speakers because in real life, there's a gap between his speakers and the wall. Shockingly accurate. Andrew does have a Pixel, or he has a Zen phone now. Oh, this, we used to have a couch over here in 2020. I actually kind of miss having this. This Me was too. Because I would just like sit here sometimes. I know, and I just, bring my laptop. I would just watch Hayato and David work, and it'd be fun. Whoa. Whoa, okay, robot room, gigantic laser sticking out of the robot. That's a little different. Oh, it's got a death laser? Just like That's in fun. real life. Yeah. Something about Colossus without his giant um, electrical box seems- I know. It seems so much more tame. Wait, does it have, it's got the scrolls. Okay. I'm in the top down set. That's a, it's a camera. Like a T5i. Yeah, it's a camera, you know, gets the job done. The deeper, they did put a lot of 251 shoes in here. I, I appreciate that a lot. Oh man, they, they did, this is really comprehensive. Although it does look a little bit like we're just a shoe company. Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. I guess you just run it up, run it up like that. Oh no, that's a scratch. POV, you're the, you're the pool You're ball. the pool ball. Can I run under? <gasps> Sky panels. Wow. Oh, 
Wow, he even got the, how did he get the pool table, or the poker table? Uh, yeah, that's the poker table. Okay, the pictures of Mac painting on the wall is so good. This is where we are. I'm sitting right there. This is literally where we are right now. <laughs> Slightly different desk, but they got the layout right. They got the couch right behind me, which is right behind me. That's a little too good. I feel like I'm getting a sense of when they, whoever's made this, of like which studio tours they watched based on where things are. The dream desk. Oh, they added a plant. I actually kind of like that there. We yeah, should put right. a plant there. <laughs> this is outside. This is too accurate. Too accurate. Somebody in this building could have made this. I don't think we've shown the outside of the office all that much in videos. I know, but they, I guess you could piece it together because like the lights, literally the same like staggered diagonal lights. That's insane. What? <laughs> No way, dude. Have they been to our building? I'm confused. Like, it's not one for one, but like, it's pretty scarily close. Yeah. Is this what Boris sees when he tries to go <laughs> up the stairs? I'm heading over. Oh, look, it's cardboard Shen. Wait, how did they, how did they get that? How do they have Shen <laughs> in the same spot? This is the most threatening thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, the fridge is open and has, I think that's gonna be hot sauce. Do we have hot sauces in the fridge? Whoa. Wait, did I see a prime? No, no, it's primal. A phone in the microwave is what is this, Tech Rex? I like that there's C stands that are, uh... You're kidding me. Podcast studio, yeah. Let's go see what's in here. A lot of lights. The shades are uneven, which is hilarious. That's a pretty good Easter egg, just the uneven shades in this room. Because it's accurate. Because it's, it's actually uneven all the time. Whoa. Damn. Oh man, if only it was this clean. <laughs> no cables anywhere. Holy crap. Get me up, get me up, I wanna see, I wanna see. Yo, they have the exact, well almost the exact table. This is crazy. This is the cleanest I've ever seen the office in my life. I wish the studio was actually this clean. That's what everybody's been saying. This is so inspiring. Like, holy crap, they're so good. There is a lot of good Easter eggs in here. From the boxes to the desks and the chairs and the furniture, like that's accurate. Some of this stuff is very, very accurate. Another plant. See, we need to add more plants. That's what I'm getting from this. It looks better. This is definitely the cardboard room. Yep, that's true. But we have about 10 times the amount of boxes in there. Gear room, yeah, tripod in the gear room, light stand. It's more of like a storage room, but yeah, there you go. Two light stands, some chairs. I'm in the gear room. Bro. Yo, what you got here, some Nikon? Just the way we drew it up, baby. That's nice. Three water bottles, in pristine condition, nonetheless. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. That was so sick. They got everything. The detail is insane. Like even like you're looking at this desk here or this like a uh, little coffee table, they made the they made the coffee table and like propped it in there. So cool. I especially love how they got Gladys and they also made Gladys half dead, just like in real life. <laughs> Snake plants, notoriously hard to kill, but I managed. A plus, I like this. So far, no, actually wait, I'll give it a B because my desk isn't there. I am impressed. This is um, the art. Every time I turn, I notice something new that's also in our studio, um, which is a little bit scary to be honest. So I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. This is the way that people will be able to tour our studio now if they have this game. And also um, I'm gonna keep a, an eye out for people knowing too much about our space. Thanks for watching. So that was all like pretty incredible, right? Like it wildly, wildly accurate. And I'm, I'm sure you're kind of wondering how. That also is based on two things. So the first thing is Epic creating their new creator economy 2.0, which also includes a program called UEFN, which is the Unreal Editor for Fortnite for free 
which lets creators create all sorts of different maps that are playable inside of Fortnite. Then you also need somebody like Robin and his team over at Based AF to understand what a unique opportunity this is that Epic is offering. Connecting that with somebody like Marquez and his fan base to share this kind of unique and personal experience and then making the map and doing all of the hard work before ever even contacting us. And now they've taken all of that hard work and effort, given it to us since we own the IP of this studio, and now we're able to give it to Epic so that this can be on their new creator economy and this whole map is playable and usable inside of Fortnite all for free. So if you're interested in the behind the scenes of how all of this came to fruition, how they made the map, how they're using Epic's creator economy, how they think it's a really interesting opportunity for big creators like Marquez. Um, they have a video on how they made everything over on their channel, which we'll link in the description down below. So definitely go check that video out. They're also nice enough to offer doing a few future updates completely for free. Um, I'm probably gonna make like a Discord channel if you guys think of anything fun that could be added or any types of fun gameplays. They're open to seeing all of that and maybe making a few changes in the next couple months. But there you have it. Not only can we now say that you at home can come visit our studio, but we have also revived the fork knife and Mark ass brownie meme. Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Oh, that's hot. That's hot. If you're new to Fortnite or have just never played one of these private maps, it's, it's really easy to get to. All you have to do is go over to this button right here. If you don't see us in the like try out new discover page, just click on island code, enter in the code that you see on the screen right here or in the description below, we just have the code there. So you can just copy and paste it, uh, enter here and you're all set to go. See you in game gamers.